drivers, what's a creepy story you've got from the middle of nowhere? Part 5. Unwind and enjoy. If you like what you see, hit subscribe and let your friends know about Thread Tonic. Account 1. Was driving from Chicago to Tampa to move with my dad. Somewhere in the middle of Georgia at 2 a.m., I'm mindlessly driving when my dad yells, Yo, pay attention to the fucking red lights. Tons of cars ahead of us are stopped, smoke in the air. We slowly approach, and first thing we see is a little car completely engulfed in flames. Then all of a sudden, an 18-wheeler starts bouncing. Like how some people put hydraulics in their little pimp cars. Big Boy was bouncing with flames coming out the back. I honked at the rubber neckers in front of me because I didn't want to see the explosion, and there were already 12 cars pulled over. Too many cooks in the kitchen. The most surreal thing I had ever seen. Someone later told us it was the brake system. Looked like a demon-possessed truck. Account 2. I'd drive all over to different grocery stores. One route was all Walmarts in West Virginia. In between Charlestown and Beckley, I decided to do no tolls since I had no cash coins on me. The views are amazing and I was just driving down these small roads mesmerized. I stopped off the road next to a creek to get out and take some pics. It was in the middle of the afternoon, BTW. As I'm looking up the stream, I see three tall, 15 feet white crosses on the other side. This struck me as very strange, and I instantly felt like I probably shouldn't be outside of my vehicle. It gave me a strong True Detective Season 1 vibe. As I'm processing this, two figures emerge from trees near the crosses. They were just a father and son and probably harmless, but I immediately noped right out of there and got in my truck and pulled away. Account 3. Well, nothing paranormal, but something out of a strange biology book. I was driving a person in my care from the clinic out of state back home. It started to rain and I was on a very rural road due to a detour and frogs were coming out onto the road in droves. The whole road was jumping and moving. The car started to slide around on the frog carcasses. I had to drive about 20 mph just to stay reliably on the road. I must have killed thousands of frogs that day. Account 4. Making the long drive back to our university one midnight, my friend and I both saw a freakishly huge dog or wolf-looking creature on the side of the road. Eyes glowing and everything. It had been quiet in my truck before this, but we both saw it at the same time and yelled out, We don't live in an area with wolves, so I've often thought about it. Our bet has always been some alpha dog or coyote that has grown huge in the woods, or a bear that we both just mistook for a canine. Very much looked like a canine, though. Account 5. Not a creepy one per se, but anytime I haul through Navajo Nation in New Mexico, it's fucking terrifying. One night, it's pitch black, and there's an old man as aged as death walking along the right side, and he stops and turns to hitchhike, but as I get closer, he's just staring at me and moving closer from the shoulder into the road. I have to swerve to the left not to kill him. Account 6. Not my story, but my mom's. She used to drive long trips to Mississippi. One day she drove over the Mississippi River and saw some huge animal swimming in the water. She says it was almost as big as the trailer she was hauling. Account 7. This will get lost, but if someone gets to read it, then, hey, obligatory. This is my dad's story who's been a trucker for over 50 years. He tells us of these experiences when we ask. Otherwise, he doesn't really speak of them. One night he was doing a long run. He knew he wouldn't make it home that night, so when he saw an old-looking pub up ahead, Ireland, he decided to park up for the night about 1.30 a.m. and get himself a nice pint. He went into the bar and thought everyone was dressed really old-fashioned and dancing. He thought nothing of it and got himself a Guinness. He still says to this day it was the nicest pint he's ever had in his entire life. After he finished his pint, faces started to get fuzzy. He said it was like they were going out of focus. So he got back in the cab, pulled his curtains, and done his crosswords until he fell asleep. The next morning, when he woke up, he was going to get some breakfast and a coffee from the pub before he start driving again. He pulled his curtains and saw the pub from last night was derelict and boarded up, untouched for many years. He has no explanation for it, but he knows it wasn't a dream. My dad has many experiences like this one. If anyone wants to hear them, just let me know. Account 8. Last week. I was in the middle of nowhere in northern Alabama driving at night. Went over a small rise and see something on the side of the road between me and the next little hill. As I get closer, realize it's kind larger. So I edge myself slightly away from it in my lane in case it's a tree or something. 
turns out to be a homeless dude on the side of the road wearing some kind of tan trench coat and a really gaunt look in his eyes. Like, he wanted me to hit him. It was creepy. Account 9. One time I was driving a big truck full of mailers to NYC from Atlanta in February. In the middle of the night, like 2 a.m., we are in the middle of nowhere. We are cruising and my girlfriend passenger suddenly sits up straight with a pull over now. So I'm like, what? She's like, now pull over right now. So I do. We sit there for a few minutes and I'm all WTF. And when she's like, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Let's just keep going. It was a feeling and intuition. So we pull back on the highway, crest the next hill, and before us is a huge accident with wheels still spinning on turned over cars, smoke fire, it just happened, no cops yet. We would have been in that many car wreck for certain if we hadn't pulled off. Lesson, always trust your girl's intuition. Account 10, not a truck driver, but I drive far for work sometimes. I once got a flat tire at 2 a.m. on a really remote back road up a mountain about an hour drive away from any houses or anything without any reception or a jack to change the tire. Had to wait a half hour or so for a truck to go by, and I flagged them down with the light on my phone. Asked if he had a jack I could use to change my tire, and he said, I got a jack, but you ain't getting it. And he drove away before I could even say anything. Sometime later, someone stopped and helped. I genuinely thought I would die that day. Account 11. Not a truck driver, but a few years ago, I was driving back from Georgia to Arkansas. The trip usually means I cross into the northern part of Alabama, where I normally take a wee nap at this one rest area. I take my nap, go pee, and get a Red Bull from the vending machine. I get back in my car at 1.32 a.m. and start driving. The highway is completely deserted except for me. Found it weird, but shrugged it off. Next thing I know, it's nearing 6 a.m. and the sun's coming up. My gas tank was near empty. At the rest stop, I had 3-4 a tank. My odometer shows I've driven like 250 miles, but my GPS showed I was only about 10 miles from the rest area. I have no recollection of the time lost. Just poof, gone. Account 12. Only thing that's ever happened to me was during the last week at a major carrier before I began driving local. I was on edge because we had a strict no passenger policy due to insurance. And here's this female friend of mine who wants to become a truck driver. So I break the rules and take her out for five days to change her mind about driving. I left my home, headed towards my typical rest area right as I'm entering Illinois. I've driven this route many times, so I know where I need to stop for the night. My truck was governed at 62 MPH. I am almost done with my 11 hours of drive time, coming upon my rest stop in a few miles. Look at my Qualcomm, and it says I have an extra hour and a half to drive. There is no way possible. I'm driving west to east. It was not daylight savings time, late August. So I decide to get closer to my destination and I continue driving while we continue talking. An hour later, I notice that I still have an hour left of drive time. I am tired as hell. My friend is in the passenger seat trying to do the math for me. Time we left, breaks, etc. I finally said screw it and pulled into the next truck stop and called it a night. But I had been driving for 13 hours, and yet my timeline shown that I had only driven for 11 hours. By Thursday, two passenger vehicles had spun out right in front of me, wrecking into everything but my truck and one semi-truck stalled out in front of me going up a mountain pass. Great times one crazy week. My friend decided to go into medical instead. Count 13. TLDR. The black dog. You see it once, take the warning, and pull over. Don't get greedy, it'll take everything you have. Not a truck driver, but my dad has told me this story. He's not a trucker either, but he's done a lot of driving. Fortunately, he hasn't seen this creature either. There's this thing called the black dog. It shows up when people get greedy. When truckers or drivers in general have been driving for so long, haven't seen their family, etc., this thing shows up to take everything you've got. It shows up in the middle of the road, often on isolated and dark roads, typically when the person is close to falling asleep and they see it, swerve to avoid hitting it, since they think it's a dog or some sort of animal, and often end up in a fatal one-vehicle accident. To anyone here who does driving a lot, don't push your hours. The money isn't worth it. You see this dog, or whatever form it may take, you pull over immediately and rest. You get one warning, sometimes not even that. If you ignore the first one, it'll get you the second time. Account 14. I'm a delivery driver for a florist. 
About two or three months ago, I had to deliver an arrangement about two hours drive into the country from the city near the end of my shift. When I arrive at the address, I don't see any house but these old farming sheds and a really long dirt road. I get out of the truck, grab the arrangement, and walk down this dirt road. Sun is pretty much about to disappear, and I've walked about ten minutes and am questioning whether or not I should have braved driving the truck down. I finally see this old shack with a light on, so I walk up to it. I'm about to go to the front door when I hear from around the side of the house. Just leave it. I answer, does. Live here? I just leave it by the door. It will eventually get to them. I do so and walk as quick as I could back to the truck, lock it and drive away a bit quicker than normal. Account 15. My dad was a long-haul trucker years back. He would drive from Ontario all over the U.S. The one creepy encounter I remember him mentioning was as he was passing through Florida, of course. He was driving through the Everglades late into the night, out in the middle of nowhere, no civilization for miles either way, when he notices a white figure come into the headlights or on the shoulder of the road. He slows down and there is a man completely naked coming out of the swamp. My father slows and stops in the road, thinking this guy may need help, as this man starts crossing over the road. He stops dead in front of the truck and stares at my dad, at which point my dad realizes this naked man is holding a shotgun. He stands there for a few seconds, staring, holding this gun, and then continues across and disappears back into the wilderness whence he came. So many questions.